Hey, we joined uh, Steve Masters this morning. Steve, the athletic director for the Silicon Valley Parks and Rec Recreation Department. Steve, good morning. Good morning. Hey, it's been a busy few days with uh, scheduling difficulties, right? Yeah, <clears throat> we're currently in basketball right now. Um, we play on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, fortunate enough to use some of the school's facilities. We play at Nichols Lawson, Indian Valley, and of course, Jay Craig. So um, anytime school's out, our policy is for us not to have after school programs. So Saturday's gonna be a long day for us. Talk about uh, the basketball program, <clears throat> who can play and that kind of stuff. Um, our basketball program has really grown lately. Um, we started ages five and go through ages 14 U. Um, we've got 18 teams this year, which is, you know, really grown for us. but. It's been exciting. You know, anytime you grow that fast, you have challenges as far as facilities and mm -hmm. getting refs and stuff. But um, Todd Freeman and the Board of Education stepped in for us, and it, it's just been a wonderful partnership, and it's been a real so successful So it's, it's a competitive uh, sport. Absolutely. Okay. You know, Parks and Rec, we, we run everything except for baseball through what we call ARPA, and um, that's a statewide organization. Mm -hmm. So... We have our competition inside our league, and then we'll have district, and then we'll have state tournaments with that as well. So when did the basketball program schedule kick off uh, for this season? Uh, we kicked off uh, the Tuesday after the national championship. Yeah. Okay. That, that's kind of our start day every year. Um, some other programs start a little earlier at the end of December, but with Christmas going on and school being out and New Year's holidays and stuff, we just like to get all that stuff kind of out of the way before we kick ours off. So when we set a schedule, it's it's pretty much flowing. With the crazy schedule, the crazy weather, uh, the the holidays and stuff like that, uh, what if people watching this morning say, hey, I miss that. I'd like to get my child involved. Is it too late to do that? We're we are currently uh, three weeks into the season. And um, unfortunately, basketball is kind of a shorter season. Um, this year, you know, if you want to come out and practice with the team or play in between halves or something like that, we'd love to have you out there. But as far as getting on a competitive team, it's a little late for that. Okay. Steve Masters, the athletic director at uh, Silicon Parks and Recreation Park. How long have you been doing that? Um, eight years. It'll be yeah. nine years in September. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun, it, right? It flies. Um, <laughs> fun most of the time, for mm -hmm. sure. But, uh, you know, it's a busy job, but it's a very rewarding job. So, I really enjoy it. You got Cal Ripken uh, sign-up coming up uh, soon, too. Yes, sir. Um, we started mm -hmm. Cal Ripken sign-up this past Monday. Okay. Um, or Tuesday, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, looking forward to another great year. Talk about the registration. Who can play? We take all um, boys and girls um, from 12 all the way down to three years old. Um, the four and three year olds have a program we call Bambino and it's parents running bases with kids, grandma in the middle of the field taking pictures with her camera and stuff like that. But um, we take it all the way from the really, really fun atmosphere with everybody out there having fun, still trying to teach, mm -hmm. you know, baseball. And then um, all the way up to 12 years old where you got the opportunity to go to the World Series. So, you know, it, it's a wide variation of ages, for sure. How can one register for Cal Ripken? Um, with us, you register at J. Craig Smith Community Center. Um, anytime the rec is open, there's someone at the front desk that can register you. So no need to rush down on a certain day or anything like that. And um, you just come up there. If you've played with us before, we have everything we need except for the registration form. But... If you haven't played with us before, you bring a um, birth certificate with us, and we'll keep that on file, and you fill it out and pay your money, and we'll get you on the team. All right. Is there a cost? And is there a cost breakdown from one child to uh, two or three children? Yeah. With the Bambinos, we do $55. Um, the reason they're cheaper is obviously they don't have refs. It's not a competition game and stuff. And that $55 covers your complete uniform which the uniform that we provide includes your hat, your belt, your socks, you know, um, and your pants. And mm -hmm. so it covers everything, and that's about 50 bucks. So we use that other $5 toward baseballs and chalk and paint and stuff like that. Um, your first child that you register for the competitive leagues, ages 5 through 12, is $75. And you get the same uniform and everything, and then that other money goes toward paying officials and taking care of that stuff. Um, if you have more than one child in your household, the second child is 55 bucks. That's basically to cover the jersey. 
We're talking with uh, Steve Masters, who's the athletic director at Silicon Parks and Recreation Department. The Cal Ripken registration is ongoing now. Uh, how long does it last? Uh, we go through the end of um, February. Okay. We always have our tryouts on the first Saturday of March, and we always have our opening day on the first Saturday of April. And, you know, since we've set that, it's kind of made it easy for folks to plan in advance, mm -hmm. you know, when opening day is going to be, when tryouts are going to be. And um, with our scheduling, we have the benefit to have four fields. So with four fields, we can schedule things where, like, major and rookie normally play on Mondays and Thursdays, t-ball, and um, minor league generally play on Tuesdays and Fridays. Mm -hmm. And then Bambino, we find open fields, and they always have the first games. So, you know, to get the babies home in time to eat and get them to bed and everything. So um, we try to do everything in our program so you can set your schedule accordingly. Explain uh, Cal Ripken. How does it work and uh, uh, the differences in Cal Ripken and other organizations? They're pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot of discussions sure. lately back and forth between Cal Ripken and Little League and all that. There's not a lot of difference. Um, when you go Dixie Youth, Dizzy Dean, Cal Ripken, all these other organizations, from 10 and under, it's basically the same mm -hmm. programs. Um, the difference with Cal Ripken currently is that our district is pretty close. You know, you're playing your local rivals that you're going to play in high school, stuff like that. The big difference is when you get to Major League. You know, Major League, 11 and 12 year olds, we move them back. You know, they play. 70 foot bases and pitch from a 50 foot pitching ru uh, rubber. Uh, they play off base. You have to pitch from a stretch, just live baseball. And um, the reasoning behind that is trying to prepare them for Babe Ruth mm -hmm. or middle school or high school ball as it's coming up. And, you know, we have a natural progression with Kyle Ripken. He goes from T ball to pitching machine to kid pitch to live baseball. And, you know, the program was set up that way. and. I believe that's a good way in order to run the program, so that's the one we use. What is required uh, of uh, individuals in leadership of Cal Ripken uh, from, from uh, the Parks and Rec to the managers uh, to assistant coaches and that <clears throat> kind of stuff? Yeah, we had um, right at 115 volunteer coaches wow. last year. Um, each, each coach that we have has to fill out a form in order to be on the field. Um, Babe Ruth, which is the parent company of Kyle Ripken actually provides you with a background tool that you can use and you have to run a background check on each coach at least every two years. We do it every year because, you know, things change. Mm -hmm. And um, we use that program and they, they send you back. It's kind of weird. It's not a, hey, they did this or they didn't do this. It's a green check or a red X. So, you know, that's what we go by. And we've had one or two we've had to ask to, you know, not to take a team in the past, but it's generally green checks mm -hmm. now. You know, usually the people who want to be involved are the better people. So, how many how many kids are involved in Cal Ripken? Last year we had 406. Um, for the past three to four years, we've averaged right around 400 kids. Um, it's grown for sure. Um, I tell you that that's kind of like basketball. You know, growing and growing that fast has been a great thing, but it, it's it's given us some challenges and. Um, you know, we've had a chance this past off season to um, do some self-reflection, and um, it's always been me. You know, I do everything from making sure concession stands open to <laughs> answering the questions on the field for the umpire. So, this is the first year we've had boards in the past, but it's kind of a small group, and you know, we hardly use them. It's if a protest come up or something like that. So. This is the first year that we're actually going to elect a board to help run the program. And when I say help, I'm pretty much going to work for them. Mm -hmm. You know, if they need me, I'm there. If not, <clears throat> I'm going to provide them with the tools for what they need. And um, what we're going to do with the board is we're going to have two league reps for every, every uh, league. Because when we play, we have two fields going of the same league at one time. And, we want to have a rep down on each field to help control things and answer questions and make sure everything's on the up and up. Um, we're going to have a vice president this year, and that vice president is basically going to be the rare occasion that I'm not there. I think I missed two games <laughs> in the last eight years. So, you know, that's going to be the person to go to to help with any questions. Steve Masters, the athletic director at Silicon Park's Recreation 
and heads up the Cal Ripken uh, organization. Uh, how many teams uh, you expect this year compared to last year? Any idea to know? You know, it's always hard to say. Like I say, we've averaged from 375 to 420 over the last four years. Um, last year we had 34 teams. Um, we just, it, you never know. You know, we wait till registration gets near the end. We go through our coaches and it never fails at opening day. You end up with more kids mm -hmm. than you thought you had and you're begging for coaches. So we play it by ear. Of course, uh, you're employed with the Parks and <clears throat> Recreation Department of the city, city of Silicaga, but what drives you with these kids? Well, you know, I played baseball my entire life. I coached my son all the way through his career and stuff. And, you know, baseball is just a great, great sport. And, you know, that's always been my passion was baseball and football. But when you get into the wreck and, you know, you start working with the other sports, the soccer, you know, football, flag football, stuff like that, and you see these kids out there competing and having a good time, and, you know, it's everybody's real competitive when the game's on, and then afterwards they put their arm around each other and say, <laughs> hey, we're going to eat. I mean, it's... It's just a blessing to have this job. You know, that'd be great if we could uh, bottle that and use it in life as adults, right? <laughs> yeah, if everybody could agree, you know, after the game's over, hey, let's let's go and, you yeah. know, have a good time together. It'd be a better world. Registration sure. started Tuesday, continues, and how's that working now? Um, we register all the way through the end of uh, February. Anytime you see the lights on at the wreck, there's somebody there that can register you and help you out, and um, we'll, we'll go from there. And... Uh, as you mentioned earlier, there, there's been some conversations, uh, Little League and Cal Ripken, and, you know, it, it's, it's kind of uh, people have kind of chosen sides a little bit. And, and when it's all said and done and, and, and the sun comes up, it is about these kids. You know, we, you know it's kind of I've made it public here lately, but it wasn't a thing. You know, when <clears throat> people came to the wreck and wanted us to start Cal Ripken Baseball, I wasn't an employee at the time, but I was on the board of directors. Um, I voted against it. Mm -hmm. Nothing against Cal Ripken whatsoever. It's just I never felt Sylacauga was big enough to have two leagues. Mm -hmm. um, there's been conversations over my eight years. Some have gone <clears throat> pretty good, some not so well, you know. Um, this year I went in there and after the first meeting that Ashton brought us to and we figured out why we were there, you know, I met with Jamie and Rocky afterwards and I said, listen, guys, I'll do whatever it takes to get these kids. Well, you guys together. grew up together. Absolutely. Right? You know, and, you know, we threw some options out there and it, it just couldn't come to an agreement. But my goal would still be to get all these kids back on the same field, let the parents have, act, you know, run the program the way it should be and the way they feel it should be because at the end of the day, I work for them, mm -hmm. you know. And for the rec to just provide the administration and the tools that they need. But hopefully we can reach that one day, but we're not quite there yet. Well, obviously there'll be baseball uh, in Sylacauga uh, this spring and summer, and uh, whether it's a Little League or Cal Ripken, but uh, Steve, we appreciate you coming by this morning and sharing, and uh, good luck with the basketball program. I know Thank the you, tournaments sir. will be coming up soon. Very and, soon. And uh, then, you know, I drove by uh, 8th Street, eight? yeah, and uh, I saw the pool. I wouldn't want to swim now, but that's a very active thing, too, in the summer. No, sir. Um, you know, I, I love to swim. That's part of mine and my workout buddies uh, program that we do. And we're usually the first ones in the pool at the beginning of the year and the last ones out at the end of the year. But I think we got several more weeks before we're going to throw that in our routine for sure. All right. Steve Masters, our guest this morning. More Daybreak just ahead.